um, but they were more commercially successful when Phil Collins joined, when Phil Collins was the singer. Oh. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A View From The Stage. I'm Rob. This is Stephanie. Hey, guys. And what we're doing today is we're going to be reacting to Genesis. Genesis with their song, Turn It On Again. This is off the album Duke. Uh, it came out in 1979, I'm pretty sure. Cool. Um, and uh, I think that you're really gonna like this song. So All right. let's get right into it. Do you like rock music? Are you tired of hearing the same songs over and over again? Are you interested in bands from Finland, from Norway, from Japan even? Make sure you smash that subscribe button because you never know what we're going to react to next. And now, back to the song. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. This is an amazing song. Listen, he's gonna go one, two, he's gonna say one, two, three, four. Huh. Listen. Ah, piano. <laughs> All right. That voice. Love it. Love it. Ah. Wow, look at all these keyboards. Yep. Twin or something? Huh? Is he even twin? No, it's the same guy. guy. Doing drums and there's a guy. It's the same guy. That's a hospital. Woo! Oh, I love his voice. Can play drums. Yep. His voice is just supreme in every way. <clears throat> and that is 
So. The Phil Collins way. Yes, that is that. So what's up with him playing the drums? Hmm. He played drums first. And he was a drummer? Just he, a drummer. He was just a drummer. And then um, at a certain point, <laughs> their old singer left the band. You might know their old singer. He sang In Your Eyes. How's that go? How's that go? In your eyes, oh. like the heat. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was the singer of Genesis for about 10 years. Wow. Um, they released a lot of like super heavy duty prog albums. Mm. Phil Collins came in probably 75, 76. Mm -hmm. um, he was just the drummer for a long time. Well, for about four years. And then when, when uh, Peter Gabriel left... They're like, well, you can sing, right, Phil? Well, why would they think the drummer of all people can sing? Because he could. Oh, so they just must have, he must have just sang in front of them at one point. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. But we mm -hmm. have a singer ready, so, okay. Yeah. I got it, I got it, mm -hmm. I got it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, but it's like, this album started their kind of, their hits. Like, everything before wasn't really a hit. But they dominated the 80s. Um, I can think of four songs off the top of my head. So they were bigger with Phil Collins than they were with the other guy. Yes, okay. but, 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 very importantly, I like the songs that Peter Gabriel did. Um, but they were more commercially successful when Phil Collins joined, when Phil Collins was the singer. Oh. Well, Be are they like, is this song in movies? No, no. It just, it, it picked up steam. Duke Duke really picked up steam. And then that translated into Phil Collins having a wonderful solo career with, you know, face value and no jacket required. Um, that's that has so many good songs that has I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, that song. That's beautiful. Um he did um this song came out in 1985, Invisible Touch. I'm not familiar with that song. How's that go? She seems to have an invisible touch up. I know that one. Um, and they did Land of Confusion, which I know you know because you listened to the Disturbed, Disturbed version. Um, <laughs> Mainstream music I, is all right. I know. Um, <laughs> but, and then they had, they had a song in the, in the late 80s, early 90s with um, uh, I Can't Dance. I can't dance, I can't talk, only thing about me is the way I walk. No, I have no clue. Um, anyway, so I think that it was, it's very interesting to me that, you know, the story of Phil Collins um, with his solo career and with Genesis mm -hmm. is just like, the 80s was Phil's, and then the 90s was Phil's too, because that's the singer who sang um, on a lot of Disney movies. Um, Hercules, uh, um, he sang the, the theme song. Um, he sang on, um, I don't know. I know Hercules was the Cinderella, big one. Cinderella, Tarzan, no, no. Aladdin, Tarzan. Lion King. Tarzan, he sang oh. the song for Tarzan. Okay, um, what about Lion King? No, that was Elton John. Elton? I'm not sure. I can show you the world. No, God, no. <laughs> No, he sang the theme songs, like the theme song of the movie. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. No, he didn't sing the actual characters. Uh, he was also in Hook. Really? Well, wait, as an actor or singer? As an actor. What was he in Hook from? So, if you remember the scene in Hook, when uh, the cops show up, when the kid, the children are kidnapped. Mm-hmm. And... Is he like the police officer? Yep. Thanks. When they ask, when they ask, you know, have, when Toodles asks the cop, he's like, have you forgotten to fly? And he's like, well, one does. Oh. That was Phil Collins. Wow. <laughs> I gotta watch that movie again. Yep, yep. So anyway, guys, what Genesis songs, now this is a very important question because I'd like to hear from you guys. What Genesis songs would you like for us to react to? Leave that down below in the comments. I know that there's literally like 50 years of Genesis songs, so... And which version of Genesis did you like? Yeah. Did you like pre-Phil Collins or after Phil Collins? Or both? Yes, or both, yes. Yeah. So anyway, make sure, as always, guys, make sure you like and you subscribe to this channel because you don't know what we're gonna react to next. And more importantly, we love rocking out with you. And you just, yeah, it's, 
what I love about this channel is, is we can react to Genesis, then we can react to Ginger, we can react to Nirvana, we can react to the Beatles. We do everything rock over all the whole history of rock. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and rock on.